There is a lot of validity to the idea that laughter does help us manage stress. And then we, and stress, a lot of people don't realize, uh, stress is the root uh, cause of a lot of our emotions, whether we label it as stress or not, like anger, sadness, fear, et cetera. Those yeah. are all stress related. And so uh, it yeah. helps us to deal with depression, helps us to deal with anxiety, helps us to deal uh, with anger issues. You know, it helps us to deal with quite a bit. And so that's probably my favorite benefit of laughter overall. I agree. Uh, when I went through my cancer healing journey, you know, I was stage three. I did surgery, chemo, radiation, the whole thing. I'm a triple threat. And uh, so I am telling you that I wrote a whole cancer comedy special. Nice. Wrote a book, but I didn't write like direct, like the book directly or the jokes directly. I just wrote every day how I was feeling and jokes would come up, you know, and, and I just wrote them and that helped me deal with it so much. It, you know, instead of going the miserable route, like, Oh, poor me, why am I, you know, I was like, I'm just going to make fun of this, of my side effects from chemo, <laughs> which were, I had 20. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there's plenty of jokes there. So yeah, it definitely, I I'm telling you, it helps so much to deal with, stressful situations and extreme situations like near death yeah. uh, situations because you know you can you can actually be unalive from the treatment or the disease so yeah yes. it really helps i'm very i'm very happy that you were able to kick that but there's a um, there's a, a lot of research out there that shows that cancer does relate quite a lot to our uh, mental and emotional state agreed uh, our uh, our uh, immune system, and and I'm no expert on that kind of work, but uh, I have I, I've read it, put it in the book, you know, and, and I'm not a medical doctor, but I I do know that two form two types of cells uh, in your immune system, gamma interferon cells and natural killer cells. Uh, these are cells that get a boost when we're laughing. Uh, when we're laughing, these cells yes. increase in our in our in our uh, immune system. And, uh, and those cells specifically target cancer. You know, laughter, wow. they really do. They have that specific function. Now, I don't know, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to make the claim that laughter is, uh, is, is helping us to fight off cancer or even prevent cancer, but- Why not? Why not? I, I, because I'm not, kind of, I'm not that kind of doctor, but like I said- no, I know, I know. But one of the, I think it's one of the things that can help you yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. And it has to do also with your attitude. Exactly. And so a positive attitude, you know, it, uh, stems from, you know, uh, thinking a certain way. Laughter and having a sense of humor helps you think a certain, more positively. You know, there's a, all these things relate to each other, but there literally is a biological mechanism yeah. behind it. It isn't, you know, you, you, feel, you sit around feeling sorry for yourself all the time. You know, mm -hmm. you're not boosting your immune system. You know? Yeah. Uh, you, know, you, you laugh occasionally, you have positive thoughts, uh, you are boosting your immune system. And so all yes. that really helps. I always like to tell people that I think the, the uh, purpose of laughter is to help us uh, to, to deal with internal uh, threats, you know, internal threats like that come from our thoughts and so forth. And, and I would suggest that a lot of forms of cancer uh, are related to those types of internal threats. Now, there's plenty of sources of cancer out there, and I'm, I, I'm definitely not a professional in that regard. Uh, but there is evidence that shows that laughter very specifically boosts those elements of your immune system that help you to uh, counter the effects of cancer. And I think that's just wonderful. Yes, it's amazing. I, mean, I can tell you, I can attest to that because I made a choice. That I was like, I can be miserable through with a treatment mm -hmm. or I can have fun. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have fun. Yeah. If I have text messages with my caregiver, you know, the, my one of my best friends, she helped me through the journey and they're hysterical. They're like, you know, like I'm, I'm having these horrible side effects. I'm texting her the funniest stuff and that helped me deal with it and making her laugh also. Yeah you know, made me happy. So I think also that cancer, in my personal opinion, in my situation, I went through a lot of grief before, like the couple of years before I got diagnosed. So I honestly do believe that the sadness and the grief that I was going through kind of 
helped the cancer grow. I that's my feeling. I'm, again, I'm not even a doctor in psychology. Well, it didn't. So. It didn't. It didn't help your body to prevent it. You know, exactly. it was a message. You know, it maybe the cancer had some other origin, but yes. it didn't have. It, you know, it, your emotional state was not doing anything to help your immune system. Yeah. I agree a hundred percent, and. That's why I think it's so important to do the flip thing. I call it the flip method. Whenever we are having all these intrusive thoughts and they're depressing and they're like negative thoughts, yeah. I flip them and make them positive. For example, like if I have, I'm nervous, uh, nervous about something or like afraid yeah. and I feel butterflies in my stomach, I'm like, oh, I'm actually excited about this. Yeah, you know, yeah, I flip yeah. it to a positive emotion and it does make a huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. The interpretation is key. 